Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. So today's vlog, I would like to dedicate it and talk a little bit more about backgrounds. Um, this is one of the most common question I've been receiving from all my viewers and they asking me about my, I would say, process, creative process of creating my cinematic backgrounds. And even though Several months ago, I've, I've done another vlog where I was talking a little bit about my favorite vlogs, but um, a lot of my viewers and a lot of you guys were asking me that, you know, some of those things are, I would say, fairly complicated. For example, getting access to restaurants or getting access to galleries. Um, shooting outside and, you know, getting permits. And um, there was there's a lot of, lot of, questions you know about legality of some of those places where I'm shooting and today I want to actually just completely switch the gear and show you and actually present to you that you really don't need access to those places um, as long as you have room where you can actually shoot as long as you have place where you can actually create a little bit of a studio and you can create amazing backgrounds. Like you really don't need, um, I would say, access to some of those places. And I know, you know, for me, it's a little bit of a different story because I've been working to get those, to get, to get access to those places for many, many years. And especially someone who is starting off, I know it's not easy to, to kind of get access to uh, some of those locations. So. I decided what I'm gonna do from now on, I'm gonna be trying to do at least a couple of vlogs a month where I'm gonna be showing you some really simple ideas to create some stunning, stunning uh, backgrounds on very, very limited budget where you guys can set it up everything in your place. So um, today I'm gonna be talking about one of those ideas and a couple days ago I've done a shoot which I actually put in reality one of those, I would say, simple things and simple idea. And I deeply believe that this whole thing worked really well. So let me share you how this whole thing looked like and what I've done. And you guys basically, you know, can use the same thing. And that's also, I hope it's gonna, um, you know, give you a little bit of, I would say, way of, you know, seeing how I actually create my backgrounds and how my creative process look like. But the main thing what I wanna say is that you really, really don't need spend a lot of money on, for example, getting access to certain places or buying some super expensive backdrops or even buying super expensive projector. Um, I know this idea got a lot of attention but I really don't want you to go beyond and above and maxed out your credit card just to get, um, you know, some really high-end projector to, to those headshots. So um, I want to, as I said, I'm going to try to share some of the stuff with you guys where you can do really, really stunning stuff on really, really low budget. So today we're going to go completely opposite way and I'm going to show you actually one of the backgrounds which I didn't create it before this this idea was kind of brewing in my head for for a little bit and I, I decided of course of the purpose of this vlog as well to show you how simple and sometimes how cheap um, some of those things you can buy and create a uh, background which is gonna pretty much like blow your mind and blow your mind of your clients that you know after something like this you could create it so let's jump into it so a couple days ago um, I went to um, one of those uh, dollar stores and I purchased aluminum folie which cost me literally not even three dollars um, I there they have different lengths and um, there's also different kinds so that's really doesn't matter as long as it's aluminum folie um, I purchased um, the one which is kind of long so I could you know um, have extra one just in case I would be running out of it and um, I basically created a background out of this and the, and the way I've done it I basically pull out um, very very long um, stripes of aluminum folie. I actually like literally bend it to create 
a lot of distortion like this and I glue it to cardboard using a um, glue gun. So basically I got a couple cardboards and spread them out to um, look like a kind of canvas, use some uh, dock tape and on the top of that I glue um, aluminum foil. And um, basically, you know, when it comes to the size, um, like you can, you can create it the size which actually gonna fit your headshot. So um, in my case it was two and a half meters by two meters. It was fairly big, but because it was so cheap, you can create any size you want. I put it this on the wall and basically to add a little bit of color to it and add a little bit of more dimension, I used one of my speed lights with um, gel on it. And um, I actually just, I basically the, the way I positioned the speed lights was straight on. So like when I was shooting the person, um, the, the speed light was right behind the person. It was shooting straight on the background. So it was pretty kind of cool. You can go with different colors. You can go with different tones. The one tip what I would like to say is um, add extra power to uh, the speed light because the more uh, light you have that they will be more spread of the light um, and the image is going to be more interesting so so basically it's really simple it's really cost effective um, this whole thing literally cost me not even 10 bucks the folio was three bucks the cardboards was for free um, I had actually uh, the glue gun to glue the the, um, the aluminum folio to the cardboard but also you can use basically anything such as um, you know double side tape to put on one side and glue um, you know the aluminum folio to it um, you know there's there's tons of stuff what you can do how you can kind of um, connect those two and even if you don't have a cardboard you can just literally put the aluminum folie straight to the wall um, you know make look really kind of um, you have to bend it a lot so so you get that really nice texture and really nice um, reflection um, also that aluminum folie I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but the one side is more matte and the other one is more uh, glossy so it depends which direction you want to go and get you're not gonna get much of a difference when it comes to the quality of the image um, of the background but you can play with it I know there's also certain aluminum foils and I'm, and I'm gonna really explore, the, explore this idea because I deeply believe this is really really cool um, you know I'm gonna try to pick up some different ones which have some maybe some patterns and then I, I've noticed they have different kinds so I'm gonna go into it and see um, how they look like so um, so now let's reveal the shots and um, let's take a look at them and I would like to hear the feedback from you so that was pretty much um, a session headshot slash beauty uh, creative shoot which I was testing this aluminum foley background and um, let me see what you guys think I would love to hear your feedback um, at the same time I would like to hear if you guys have any really really cheap ideas which could work for creating some interesting backgrounds okay I hope that was interesting I hope you guys love the shots um, you know Again, I just, I'm gonna be sharing more of those ideas because I have quite a long list with, with, with those kind of um, thoughts which kind of are in my mind what I can do in order to create some interesting backgrounds. And I'm gonna be sharing them with you um, on, the, you know, on my vlogs. So I hope that gives you a little bit more uh, different perspective on um, you know, creating something unique, creating something different and on the same on the budget. So you don't have to spend tons of tons of money on um, you know, buying some, some really, really expensive stuff. So I hope you guys like the video. Um, would love to hear your feedback, what you guys think. And um, please stay in touch and uh, I'll be looking forward to hear from you guys. And um, have a fantastic week. Please use that idea if you guys can. Send me the Im images and I will be looking forward to see them. And um, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.